Today, uh, about 12% of our land is devoted to uh, roads. Now, roads don't only serve uh, private transport users, obviously it serves the, uh, the larger public. Land for housing I think is about 15%. So 12% for roads, 15% for housing. And in the recent decade, I think the roads have grown at about 1% at about 1%. And going forward, we think it probably will grow only at about 0.5% per annum. This is the, the, the road network. You know, and, and even, for example, when, when you um, increase the size of your expressways, um, you know, it brings it closer to, to residents. When you build a new road, uh, there is, I think, quite a lot of convenience for both uh, public and private transport users. But I think there are others who feel that you know we've lost something as a result of, of doing so. So again, it's trade-off. For the VQS, uh, it was 3%. We've brought it down to 1.5%. Uh, I think we will have to bring this down further. We have to bring this down further um, in the next review. The current 1.5% will finish in 2012. Okay, um, and hence for the next three-year phase, uh, it will not stay at 1.5% but it will have to come down and sometime in October we will announce the, the new rates for the VQS. 1.5% is not sustainable over the longer term um, and it is a combination of both ownership measures as well as usage measures that actually is most ideal. You could theoretically you know, bring it down to zero or even before, below zero. But I think it will bump up against the aspirations of some who want to own a car, notwithstanding whatever it is that we try to improve on the uh, public transport system. And there are those who feel that they really need to have a car because you know, they're fetching their elderly, sickly parents around and it's a lot more convenient to do so and we understand all that. Uh, on the other hand, you can't allow it to grow uh, at the rates uh, in past years simply because your road network is not expanding as what it had done before and there is I think also a limit as to what you can do with regard to uh, congestion pricing. Okay, so it's really trying to find a balance uh, between, between, these two, between these two measures.